Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's, I've probably spoken to most of you virtually um, over the last six months or so to talk about Ken, and it's lovely to be able to reacquaint myself with so many friends from the last few months. What I'd like to do in the next two or three minutes is just set some expectations for the day, what we'd like to get out of it, what we hope that we will get out of it. So in the morning session, we have some absolutely fantastic speakers. Um, with a panel session following that. The aim of this is to set the scene. I like to think of it as exploring the why. Why do we want to see open and equitable access to knowledge? I think we all agree we do. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. But I think it's important that we really focus on that. And that will allow us in the afternoon to move into some breakout sessions where we'll be able to start to think about the what and the how. I really want us to come out at the end of the day through our facilitated sessions with some concrete actions that as a collective we can move towards that will really help to shape a future world that has fair and equitable access to knowledge. After the drinks reception, um, the team who have been fantastic getting everybody here today um, will probably have at least a night off and then the, the hard work really starts. We want to work with all of our partners, both here physically and virtually, but also others who have indicated their desire to become part of the Knowledge Equity Network, to finalise the declaration by the end of the year. We want to work with you to ensure that we exclude any red lines so that as many people as possible feel they are in a position to become signatories to the declaration. There will be a formal launch, including worldwide media, in the end of March, start of April next year. And by that point, we would like to be supporting institutions to move <coughs> through their governance processes to become full signatories of Ken. But in addition, we want to work with you to start to develop your commitments. So one of the key tenets of the Knowledge Equity Network Declaration is to publish a commitment saying, as an institution, as an individual, what it is you would like to do to contribute towards the aims of CAN. So the team will work with you afterwards. We'll produce a small report on the outcomes of the feedback sessions to really help drive the commitment and make positive difference. So to begin the day, it gives me absolute pleasure to introduce my Vice-Chancellor, Professor Simone Beitendeck, who, when she arrived at the university two years ago, this was one of the first things she said to me, we have to do. This has been, she's been the core driver of this, and I think it's only apt that she sets the scene. Simone. Simone. 